I'm Bianca and welcome back to Binks Thinks. So this is the fourth video in my Project TBR series where I try to read all of the physical books on my shelves. As you can see behind me, the books facing us are the ones I haven't read yet. I started this challenge off with 350 books on my physical TBR and I am starting off month four with 346 books. If you would like to get caught up, please make sure to watch the previous videos in this series. I did an introduction and I've done monthly updates with a few extras in between. Okay, so let's get right into April and how month four actually went. So if you watched last month's video, you would have seen that March was my birthday and I did buy a few books during March and I was gifted a few as well. Some of the books only arrived in April though, so there is a little bit of overflow that I'll show you before we get into what I actually read. First of all, we have this stack of books from Victoria Aveyard. I have been following her on Instagram and I've really been enjoying her content and her personality and I wanted to support her so I ended up getting all of her books. She's talked about this Realm Breaker series most recently because it's her newest series. And then I've also heard really good things about the Red Queen books. I ended up getting the box set because it's cheaper than buying the books individually. I have since read Red Queen. I don't think it was in April though. It was probably a bit after that. But yes, so I bought all eight of her books. And that does bring my total up quite a lot. Then I got this duology by Ashley Poston, the Heart of Iron books. I have read and loved, I think, five of her other books. But I do own some more that I am currently making my way through. I am hoping to read all of her books by the end of the year. So I had to get these two to complete my collection and I'm really in a sci-fi mood this year which I will have already started reading a few sci-fi books and have been enjoying them. So I got these two and added them to my shelves. Then my pre-order of The Reappearance of Rachel Price arrived. This is by Holly Jackson. I have read and loved all of Holly Jackson's other books. She's the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, the TV show has come out recently as well and that was really, really good too. So this one arrived. She's an auto-buy author for me, so I would have bought her book anyway. And that adds a little bit more. And then I also got Funny Story by Emily Henry. Honestly, I forgot that I pre-ordered this and I forgot to go and like cancel some pre-orders. Um, I actually need to go and double check that. Reminds me. But yes, I did get Funny Story by Emily Henry. I've only read one Emily Henry book so far, but this one just looks so, so good. Okay, so those are all of the books I bought. And then I did unhaul 10 books. So I went through my shelves and... I found some books that I was no longer interested in reading and I donated them to the school library. There are some books that I got quite a few years ago and I didn't read them at the time and now I don't think I'll ever read them. The moment has passed, unfortunately. That's another reason why I'm trying to do this series and April was when I realised that I can't keep buying books if I want to read all of the books on my shelves as well. So this was kind of the moment where I was like, okay, you have a bit of a buying problem. You honestly need to stop now. Um, I did have the goal at the start of the year and I didn't realize that I actually needed to, you know, cancel and close some of my online subscriptions and things like that. So I ended up doing that in April. Let's talk about some of the books that I read. So the first book I finished was My Eerste Soon in Ander Dinge Wat Jy Die, die Blaute Kan Tref by Tanya Brink. So this is a three-in-one bind-up and I'm counting each of these books as individual books, not this three as one, if that makes sense. So I read the second book in this bind-up and that does count towards my reading goal. 
and I did enjoy it. I am trying to read a bit more books in Afrikaans and I have a few that are own and a lot more on script that I do want to end up reading one day. Then I finally read Plan and Organize Your Life, Achieve Your Goals by Creating Intentional Habits and Routines for Success by Beatrice. I can't say her last name, so I'm not even going to try. She is Bliss Bean on YouTube. I have been watching her for quite a few years and I ended up buying her book and finally read it after quite a few years of owning it. Um, it was quite good. There wasn't really much new in here that I hadn't read before. So I think it's a good start for people and also if you do enjoy her content you will enjoy the book. Then I finished Liva Axi in Estaticis Compais which is another Afrikaans book. I don't have my physical copy here, it's at my partner's house um, but we did read that one together and that one is part of the challenge so that was good. Then I read The House That Joy Built by Holly Ringland. This is a new favourite. I absolutely love this book. It's all about giving yourself permission to do the things that bring you joy, like writing. Uh, it was mainly about that for her and for me as well. So really, really love this book. And it is beautiful. It has some illustrations on the inside as well of flowers. Um, and yeah. It was just a great read and I had a wonderful time. Then I finally finished reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. This is the prequel short story bind up in the Throne of Glass series. I did enjoy it. I wasn't super attached to the characters at first though and I feel like I should have been so I kind of think I should have read this at a different part in the series but nevertheless it was good and I am planning on continuing with the series. I do also own like the whole box set of Throne of Glass so I do hope to finish all of those soon too. Then I read Demon in the Wood which is a graphic novel set in the Grishaverse universe. This is by Lee Bardugo and Danny Pendergast also helped with this. It's really really cool and it didn't take me a lot of time to read this at all. Got through it quite quickly um, but yeah I really love the Grishaverse universe. Um, I think there are only two books left in the series that I still need to read and then I think two companion books as well. So I have been making a lot of progress with that but I am holding out on buying any more until I cut down my TBR by quite a bit. I reread The Year of Less so that one doesn't count because I have already read it so that one goes under the other read. This is one of my all-time favorite books and I read this to kind of re-motivate myself in terms of buying less things and decluttering. It's a really really good book for motivating you. I absolutely love it. I also listen to the audiobook so yeah definitely one I keep rereading. I also reread Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I also really want to read all of the other Rainbow Rowell books, um, but I'm putting that on hold for a little while just because I don't own many of the others. I just own a copy of Carry On, which is in South Africa, but I love this book. It was one of the books that got me back into reading, and for some reason, I was just in the mood to reread it. Then I read From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata. This was so fun. I had a great time reading it. We were also watching a lot of the hockey games around this time. So yeah, reading about ice skaters while watching the hockey. It was a good vibe. And then the last book I read in April was Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. It's a giant book. <laughs> but I did have a good time reading this one as well. Very excited for Onyx Storm which was announced recently. Quite chuffed that I did manage to read this whole book in April. It's a big one. <laughs> so that is what happened in month four of Project TBR Zero. My new total is 340 books which is essentially the same that it was at the end of February. So March and April I didn't make a ton of progress. I was mostly recovering from my birthday book buying in terms of 
uh, statistics, but overall I had a really, really great reading month in April. Um, I was a bit anxious, some other things were happening around the time as well, so I was, you know, looking for some comfort reads, that's why I started rereading some books as well. Overall, quite happy with that progress and happy that I managed to recover in a month <laughs> after my birthday book buying and I realized that I can't keep buying so many books or I will never finish this challenge. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are doing a similar challenge, please let me know down below. I'm really looking for more people to follow on their journeys to keep myself motivated. And if you have enjoyed the video, if you have watched up to now, please leave a book stack emoji in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading, Inklings. Bye. Thank you.